In this A-level IB biology video, we're going to be looking at the structure and function of neurons, as well as a fully labelled diagram of the motor neurons, and so you can understand how the different parts of that motor neuron operate in order to carry out its function. Let's start by making an opening statement that the nervous system is composed of cells known as neurons. So a neuron is a type of cell, and the nervous system is made up of neurons. What is the function of the neuron? Well, they carry messages in the form of high-speed electrical impulses. Here we have a diagram of a motor neuron. So let's start by labelling it. We have the nucleus, which is found within the structure known as the cell body. These elongated structures are known as dendrites. And as the label says, they are needed to collect signals. The longest part of the motor neuron is the axon. And that is surrounded by a fatty layer known as the myelin sheath. Between each part of the myelin sheath, you have the nodes of Ranvier. And we'll talk about that shortly in a lot more detail. Because this is a motor neuron, it's going to end at an effector, which in this case is the muscle fibre. And then that muscle fibre will respond by contracting. So we're looking at a motor neuron which links the central nervous system to the effector, which therefore brings about a response So looking more closely at the nodes of Ranvier and the myelin sheath, these are important for saltatory conduction. So effectively, the myelin sheath acts as insulation. It increases the speed of conduction of the electrical impulses. If we look more closely at what's going on, so we have our myelin sheath, which is actually found on cells known as Schwann cells. Between the Schwann cells, we have our nodes of Ranvier, and notice that the electrical impulse jumps from node to node. And it's this jumping from node of Ranvier to the next one, which is actually what saltatory conduction is, 